Good morning, everyone. It's 2.21 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and give everyone an update. We still technically have that tornado warning for parts of Lyon County. And you see this area right there, that's, uh, I call it V-notch. And you can see what happens is the air is rushing into this storm and then blowing out. And the radar is updating within every couple minutes tonight. So that's just how fast these storms are moving. So I go ahead and readjust it. And it looks like the tornadic part, if there is to be a tornado, if there were to be a tornado, would be up in that area. But we're gonna go ahead and have a tornado warning uh, just to be on any part of caution here. Looks like a new tornado warning issued for another 38 minutes. And I'll go ahead and get the data that just came in. So Lyon County, Osceola, uh, and then Rockin, Minnesota, Jackson, Minnesota, and then Noble. So Lyon and Osceola County, so northeastern Lyon County, and northwest Iowa, and northern Osceola County in northwest Iowa and that's going until 3 a.m. so that's a pretty long tornado warning but again with the way the storms are in these thunderstorm complexes they're they're not as easy to track as supercells when you have that big rotating thunderstorm these are spin-ups within the line that you gotta watch and and right now the most pronounced is this v-notch we have the air rushing in a thunderstorm and then air rushing out. So I'll go ahead and take a look at some of the data here. And this is the velocity data. And it's pretty close to Sioux Falls. So a lot of this is reaching the ground. It's closer to the radar, the lower the radar beam is. And so you have more reliable data. So 60 mile per hour winds and uh, I've seen a couple of 70 mile per hour winds. There's a 70 mile per hour wind. So north of Rock Rapids right now is where the strongest wind is and the greatest rotation right there will be that little notch right there. But to be honest with you, the biggest threat right now I see is the bow echo. And now we do have another tornado warning because you got another notch down here. And I'll go ahead and get the latest data. And that one goes for 22 minutes. Again, for parts of Lyon and Osceola, uh, Sioux County and O'Brien County. That one till 245. So not as long as the other tornado, but again, it's these little notches. And I got to go all the way out to clear that there's so much data on the screen now tonight. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a loop on this. There we go. So as you can see, the storms are moving into Northwest. Well, they're already in Northwest Iowa. So simply uh, be on the lookout for these storms to be in your area, probably within about 30 to 40 minutes. And the strongest winds will be just ahead of this line. And you got the really strong winds inside the, the bow the, the segments that really bow will be really strong winds uh, ahead of the thunderstorms here. So 60 to 70 mile per hour winds along this line. And to be honest, a lot of times these bow echoes, these winds out of these uh, thunderstorms outflow can reach the same strength as an EF0 or low end EF1 tornado. So it can do as much damage, it's just all straight line damage instead of rotation type standard, uh, circular damage. But again, the way these storms are lined up, it's not as easy to track as a supercell because supercell is one big rotating uh, thunderstorm cell. You got multiple cells here and it's a straight line. So if you're tracking uh, by yourself and you're watching, you know, an area of severe thunderstorms like here, and give me one moment, I'm trying to get the radar to respond. What you wanna do and you wanna look at the velocity data for the wind. So remember velocity data is for the wind. And we do have Okay, just had the MRC alert system going. That's probably for that tomato warning that was issued. Um, so yeah, that's what that was. That was that tomato warning. But if you're tracking this at home here, um, I'll show you. You Again, you wanna look for these little notches. Think of it as a V, kind of sideways V. 
got winds rushing into the thunderstorm and air rushing out of the thunderstorm. So you got these little spin-ups here along this line of thunderstorms. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up so I can get this to YouTube uh, and Twitter and Facebook as soon as possible. I will continue to monitor this and uh, if you have any storm damage, please take some pictures of it. Pictures were great and I'll relay them to the National Weather Service. If I'm not back with any more updates, I hope you have a good evening or a good night. It's been a very long day. It's 2.30 a.m. But I'll continue to monitor this.